Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and create the kernel exploit USB for our PlayStation 4 running 9.00. Uh, I am on Cheddar Chaps GitHub here. I believe I'm pronouncing his name right. But you can go ahead and download the image file. It's right here. You can go ahead and download everything if you want. You go ahead and select code and download as zip. Um, but we're only interested in the image file for this video. So we'll go ahead and select it. Go ahead and hit download. Shouldn't take too long to download as it is a very small file. If you go ahead and back up here, you can go ahead and scroll down. It does show a little tutorial here of uh, how to do it. We're basically going to do the same process that's listed here, but I thought I'd do it in a video just so everybody can follow along. So we'll go ahead and just uh, jump over to our Win32 image downloader as we'll need this to write it to our USB. Go ahead and select download. Give it a few seconds. It does make you wait five seconds, but uh, yeah, it's a very small file, so it doesn't take long to download. And there you go. We'll go ahead and open it. Now you may get a uh, security warning. Just say yes to it. And then from here, we'll go ahead and hit I accept. Next, next, next. Now you can create a desktop image, but in most cases, you'll probably never use this program again. So it's up to you. You can go ahead and create it or not. For this video, I'm not going to create it as I will not need it anymore after I create the USB. So go ahead and hit next and then install. We can go ahead and minimize our browser as we don't need it anymore. And I don't want to read the readme, so we'll go ahead and uncheck that. Go ahead and just launch the program. Once it's open, you can see that on our desktop here, we do have our two files that we downloaded, the setup and then our image file. Go ahead and browse for our image file. Just go over to our desktop and select it. Next thing we need to do is select our USB. I only have one plugged in, but I do strongly recommend that you know which USB you're using as you don't want to overwrite any data that, uh, that you want. So we'll go ahead and select a mine, which is G. Go ahead and hit write. Now we'll come up with are you sure and like I said just make sure it's the correct one that you did select and just say yes if it is. It doesn't take long to write. Hit OK. Now as for the USB size you can go ahead and go down as low as you can. I think if you had a 16 megabyte USB you should be still fine. Um, don't go out and buy an expensive one as this is only 4 megabytes so you just need a small USB and you should be good to go. But that's basically it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.